coming, and we've done some handling here with uh, little, uh, sorry, Gordo, our eight-week-old golden, <laughs> yellow Labrador puppy. Why can't I call him the right one? Anyway, mm -hmm. our yellow Labrador puppy. We've done some practice in handling for blood draw, male trim, and exam. And Megan made a note. She's been pairing, giving him the reward when he's been holding still, not grabbing with his mouth. And what did you notice, Megan? That he learned very quickly that if he struggles to get the food out of my hand, that he's not going to get any. And when he lays down, he's and is calm, then that's when he then, gets some. Right. So by her, like waiting and kind of timing the re the release of the food to a calm body, not grabbing with the mouth. He quickly learned, oh, just lay down and be still, and then I get the reward, which makes it so much easier to do the exam, and he's learning the right behaviors to have on the table, and this happened within 10 minutes, right? Yep. Yeah, in 10 minutes. So when you have your puppy's exam that are your staff, do the same thing, and start making sure that you are timing the releasing of reward and rewarding calm behavior, not the struggle behavior. <laughs> And do this starting at eight weeks of age, 10 weeks of age, 12 weeks of age, because that's laying the foundation for them to be better behaved when they're four months old, five months old, and six months old, and we have to do that last rabies vaccination or we're seeing them for surgery. If they're already four months old and they're struggling and trying to grab and nip, still do the same techniques. They will still learn how to be calm. It might take about 20 minutes on the older puppy, right. but it, they can still learn how to do it, and they will still be better behaved for you. Thank you. Good job. Yeah. Thank you.